I'm doing a new book at the moment called Epiphany, which is uh, based on a series of interviews with people about how they discovered their talent. I'm fascinated by how people got to be there. Uh, it's really prompted by a conversation I had with a wonderful woman who may, most people have never heard of. She's called Gillian Lynn. Have you heard of her? Some have. She's a choreographer and everybody knows her work. She did Cats and Phantom of the Opera. She's wonderful. I used to be on the board of the Royal Ballet in England, as you can see. And uh, anyway, Jill and I had lunch one day. I said, how'd you get to be a dancer? And she said it was interesting. When she was at school, she was really hopeless. And the school in the 30s wrote to her parents and said, we think Gillian has a learning disorder. She couldn't concentrate, she was fidgeting. I think now they'd say she had ADHD, wouldn't you? But this was the 1930s and ADHD hadn't been invented you know, at this point, so it wasn't an available condition. You know, people, people, people weren't aware they could have that. Anyway, she sent, went to see this, um, this specialist so this oak-panelled room, and, and she was there with, uh, with her mother, and she was led and sat on this uh, chair at the end, and she sat on her hands for 20 minutes while this man talked to her mother about all the problems Gillian was having at school. And at the end of it, um, because she was disturbing people, her homework was always late, and so on, a little kid of eight. In the end, uh, the, uh, the doctor went and sat next to Gillian and said, Gillian, I've listened to all these things that your mother's told me. I need to speak to her privately. So she said, he, he said, wait here, we'll be back, we won't be very long, and, and, uh, and they went and left her. But as they went out the room, he turned on the radio that was sitting on his desk. And when they got out the room, he said to her mother, just stand and watch her. And um, the minute they left the room, she said she was on her feet, moving to the music. And they watched for a few minutes, and he turned to her mother, and he said, you know, Mrs. Lynn, Gillian isn't sick, she's a dancer. <laughs> Take her to a dance school. I said, what happened? I said, she did. I can't tell you so how wonderful it was. We walked in this room, and it was full of people like me. People who couldn't sit still. People who had to move to think. Who had to move to think. They did ballet, they did tap, they did jazz, they did modern, they did contemporary. She was eventually auditioned for the Royal Ballet School. She became a soloist, she had a wonderful career at the Royal Ballet. She eventually graduated from the Royal Ballet School, found her own company, the Gillian Dance Company, met Andrew Lloyd Webber, she's been responsible for some of the most successful musical theatre productions in history, she's given pleasure to millions, and she's a multi-millionaire. Somebody else might have put her on medication and told her to calm down. <laughs> now, I think... <laughs> <laughs>